Hi, I'm Molly Kidd. I'm 21 years old. I play up front for Listen to Garvey and I'm part of the men's senior international squad. Uh, I got into hockey through basically family, um, my parents, but also my uncle and my, my granda. Um, we're brought up in a hockey family. That everyone's been, I suppose, around the club for years. My granda's been a member for a lifetime. So for me and my, my two sisters, it was always really, we were brought up in, around the hockey club, so it was always gonna be hockey for us, I think. I guess it's just that competitive nature. Um, anything I sort of ever touch, it's, it has to be competition, whether it's, it's a simple, simple game of golf or whether it's playing in the UI league. I, 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 it, does, it doesn't normally, I don't uh, discriminate. Uh, I want to win everything I, I, I touch and um, I suppose that's where it comes from. Um, so it, it's all started whenever I was at school. We won at Friends in Lisbon. We won every Ulster competition that we that there was to win right through school and I won two under 15 cups with Garvey and that's what really started it for me. Um, I started playing for the first level whenever I was 16 and we, uh, we won the league in my first year, so I was sort of been, been around that winning environment and that winning mentality from a young age. And I suppose last year was maybe the, the highlight for me so far, winning all five cups. And then obviously going to Hamburg there to the EHL in, in September was, was an, another experience. We have three main coaches at Garvey. Errol, who's our head coach, and then Stevie's our assistant with, with Raymond Geddes, who's our goalkeeper coach. All past players of Garvey, and they suppose they, they, they seem to love the club like everyone does around the club. They love the club, and they're, they're there, and they're dedicated to suppose, supporting us from, from that trip away into Hamburg, but right, right through last season, Every day, every every day, there's probably a message into the group chat, whether it's video or organising training. We trained Christmas Eve and Boxing Day there not that long ago, and just that that constant commitment um, from the coaches is is something that just it, it probably goes under the radar a bit, but I know we all definitely appreciate it. I'd say the league the league is. It's quite competitive. It, it changes every year with players going away, but that only gives opportunity for youngsters to come into the league and come into those teams and try and push and try and develop. That's how I got got my start in the league. We had a few players go away and I got an opportunity and I took it with both hands. And I suppose that's that's what the league offers. It, it means young players, older players can, can take opportunities to play against the best. and. The league develops year on year and there's more players coming into it. There's firstly the, the friendships that you're you're able to build with teammates who you've been playing with for 10 years or two years, it doesn't really matter. You build build those bonds through training, through wins, through, through losses and I guess that the friendship's probably the main one for me but also the competitive nature of a team sport probably training on Tuesday or Thursday nights, probably the most competitive part of the week for most of us. And Saturday's just a game because training's probably where, where things get maybe not heated, but highly competitive and everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to be on that winning team in training. So I guess probably for me it would be those two, just the friendships and the competitive nature of a team sport. Showing up week in, week out with a good attitude, being happy to train, whether it's pitch is almost frozen, five, three, four degrees, or whether whether it's 15 degrees and it's a nice day, you need to show up with the right attitude and you need to be prepared to put in the hard work. I know we've shown up with the pitch that's been covered in snow and we've, we've dug out a quarter and we've trained. I think motivation's never really been an issue for me. I'm always willing to learn, willing to show up at training, willing, willing to work hard and so motivation isn't really an issue for me and then I suppose just finding that balance off the pitch, spend, spend a lot of time with mates I suppose whether it's at university or just just outside hockey I try and find that balance of enjoy, I enjoy my hockey so it's not, not really ever been a chore for me but 
find that balance and just make sure I'm always enjoying it and the motivation will always be there. I think um, since EY I've, I've started supporting the league, you've seen a huge huge growth and progression in hockey in Ireland that senior men's and women's teams are both on the up and um, I suppose that the support of both the men's and women's game in Ireland is incredibly important. The introduction of the EY2 as well can only, can only mean good things for hockey in Ireland.